This is ECOT TV reporting from Geneva. I'm Brian Dolby and I'm talking to Nick Parsons who is the CTO of Pilates. Nick, uh, you've got a very exciting new product development today. Tell us more about it. Yes, Brian. What we have today is, is we've extended our um, range of all optical switches up from 80 by 80 to 96 by 96 fibre ports and we're, we're now making that available both in the rack mount tray complete system uh, as well as OEM modules for customer integration. Now at Pilates you, you've been at ECOC, a fairly regular exhibitor at ECOC, but give us a little bit of a potted history of the last few years because I think you've made some major developments in that time. Well yes, I mean traditionally we've been, uh, our main customers have been in uh, test and measurement and in uh, government systems um, and we've what we've done is is we've been able to broaden that market now into uh, data centers where we're deployed in some of the big data centers in uh, the USA for, for example in, in uh, Terramark where we're we're in the um, co-location centers in, in in there for peering high bandwidth traffic between uh, their users um, and also in test and measurement we are um, distributed by JDSU and we've had a good relationship with them now for uh, nearly six years and um, through that we've been able to get into uh, pretty much the manufacturing test floors of uh, every single uh, transceiver manufacturer worldwide. That's incredible, I mean people just don't know about that and I think also uh, you're in the White House. Yes, yes, well one of the interesting emerging applications now is for uh, high definition video uh, switching which now you can get high definition video cameras that that uh, have single mode fiber coming directly off the camera and studios want to be able to switch those signals directly so um, what we've been doing for example with CBS in the White House is we're having we put one of our switches in the in their data closet and so they don't have to send a technician from uh, their studio eight kilometers away to be able to rewire the fiber patch panel when uh, Obama suddenly decides that he wants to um, make a speech from the Rose Garden instead of the Oval Office. So, so that, that's certainly improved their, their uh, uh, ability to, um, to respond to, to uh, new demands in, in their programming schedule. Now, I'm not sure whether you're going to be able to top that in terms of a customer, but what sort of future developments are you looking at at the moment? Well, our customers are always uh, asking for us to uh, provide the same excellent performance that we have in our smaller switches through to even larger port counts. And so, you know, the, the ultra low loss and good reliability and repeatability that, that we've, we've um, uh, demonstrated in, in our smaller switches and have been out there now for, for nearly eight years. Uh, we're now looking to expand the port count, uh, shrink the size, the physical size of the switch, and also obviously um, um, get to uh, lower price points because if there's one thing our customers tell us all the time, it's they want to buy more for less. Absolutely. Now, talking about being here in Geneva, what are your impressions of the ECOC uh, show and why is it important to, as part of your marketing? Well, I think the ECOC show is, is a good show, it's a good focus for the European optical communications industry and what we like about it is that uh, it's a great place to be able to meet a lot of our customers in a very short space of time and have a very efficient set of meetings um, you know, whilst also showing them a little bit about um, our latest technologies and, and uh, product releases. Okay, well Nick, it's been fascinating to talk to you and, and to hear about the latest successes. So uh, thanks for joining us on ECOC TV. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Brian.